Welcome everyone to my Factorio City! So I wanted to share this city with you because I feel like it's achieved what I feel the uh, game developers have intended to uh, make this game to be. Uh, so this is just my take on it after a lot of iterations and a couple of different playthroughs. This is my, I think, my third or my fourth playthrough. And I've gotten to a point where I feel I uh, basically have done this main objective, which is to uh, keep all these labs running using infinite research uh, for... Um, a continuous and indefinite amount of time. So, as you guys know, uh, the original objective to beat the game, which is to launch a rocket, I think that to me is, is great, and that's just sort of the beginning. Really, at the end, you have these things called um, infinite research technologies, and they all require this sort of space science pack in addition to all the other five regular science packs times a bunch of multiples. So, the point here is to be able to continue to research these infinite research technologies without stopping and without doing any direct intervention. The whole thing is automated. So that's actually turns out to basically support that 17 labs. You got to build this monstrosity. Uh, it's much bigger than I thought it originally would have to be, but it seems like um, this game just seems to take up a lot of space. And there's a secondary objective, which I think is also required um, when trying to so-called so beat the game in my head, and that is to have security, and that security needs to be automated. In other words, these biters out here, they do not destroy your base, and in fact, as they grow, you have to fight them back, and I'm not doing that by myself. I'm letting the machines do it. So this is my quick overview of this city, and in future videos, we can get into some of the details about how this is done. So general flyby. On the remotest parts of the city are all these outposts in which you do all the mining, um, all of the sort of drilling for oil, and I guess the uranium mine, which is here. Um, and that, those are sort of these satellite bases connected all by rail to the main base, which is sort of encircled in this kind of gray rail track that makes everything kind of look like an SD card. So this is my main factory. Within my main factory, over here, we have what is a, a just a, a rail yard in case things get destroyed for whatever stupid reason. And then we have a an offload for the two big ores, which are iron and copper and they get fed into these furnaces over here, a ton of furnaces um, for both the iron and the copper to make iron plates, copper plates, as well as steel. And then that gets fed into here, which is the main factory floor. Um, and this, in this main factory floor, uh, this is the, this area alone is just for making uh, the, I guess the copper wire and the uh, green circuits, because apparently those things just take up a ton of space to supply this measly sort of two-lane expressway of material okay so that's perfectly balanced i didn't waste any extra factories um really try to get as optimal ratio as possible without getting into the craziness of excel spreadsheets and, and coding and balancing and all these really super nerdy things i'm just trying to play the game through for the sake of playing the game so the rest of this is being assembled down here all of the different parts that the factories um can can make to assemble the intermediate and final products um, are all here, including the one uh, rocket uh, pad, which is right here. So that's this area. Um, this area up here is the nuclear power plant. Um, so yes, I do use nuclear, and that is my primary source of energy because there's just a ton of power there. Um, out here, uh, oh, and over here are the sort of the backup power generators. So I have some coal and I have some solar here to provide some backup in some strange case. And over here is my refinery area. So this is for all the oil. And then down here is every single oil related product, which is um, here. And all of that gets sort of piped in either through pipes or through um, intercity sort of railway cars down to the factory floor and back again to do whatever we need. And the final piece is security. So we can explain real quick how that happens. So there's an artillery wagon that's cruising, patrolling around here somewhere on this map that basically makes stops in a lot of these outposts um, like this one or this one, you know, or at each one of the minor towns, there will also be an outpost, so it just circles around all that, and it shoots its artillery until nothing left to shoot, and then it keeps doing its rounds. So that's an overview of this base, folks. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks a lot.